Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of FTB Skies Let's Play. In this episode, well, in the previous episode, actually, we did a little bit more with Create, and we covered all of the split in the digital media, or digital media, I'm thinking of Dragon Con when I say digital media track. Uh, we did all of the digital storage track to get us to either applied energistics or refined storage. And I wasn't sure which path I wanted to take at the end of last episode, but I think I have decided to go with, I mean, I'm sorry. I, I decided not to go with applied energistics. I've decided to go with refined storage. And the reason being is that refined storage seems a bit simpler than applied energistics because applied energistics has like all the channels and the buses and the, you can only send so much information down this one line and you can only do that whereas refined storage seems like it's pretty straightforward you've got your controller you've got your storage you've got your grids so i'm gonna stick with that to begin with and eventually we might switch over to something else but for right now definitely sticking with the applied energistics method i am trying really quickly to make some um elevators i've got one right here i just need to put one below it uh which i need some string for so i've sheared actually i need wool for it so i've sheared a few sheep to get the wool but another way would also be to just get string from flax so do I have any bone meal? I thought I did. Unless I used it all between episodes to do other stuff. <coughs> Not seeing bone meal right there. Oh wait, no, it's all right here. I, I completely forgot that I had bone meal in a storage uh, drawer. So I can get some flax. So earlier there was a farmer over here, the one that I like pushed over the ledge at the end of an episode, uh, and he was planting and replanting and like actually composting some stuff. But I came over here and he had completely uprooted all of my like non-vanilla crops. So I came back and replanted anything that I could remember that was over here. So I just needed to take care of all of that. Um, so flax gets me more wool that gets me just enough and I need to replant that I can put some of this away and then I can make a second elevator because I'm going to um, get rid of this and I'm just going to put an elevator above and below so it would be right there so i need to take this out put this here and then i can just do that so we can actually get rid of this so our stuff looks a little bit neater and also because i'm going to start putting my refined storage uh disk storage and all of that down here uh and then just run the cables up to the surface so let me grab my builder wand and I can just fill in this spot. Need a little bit more cobble. So we are going to start doing the refined storage route. As I said, I do have some stuff that I've already gotten created and built up. Uh, we, we started in the last episode, um, but now we are going to actually start building like our grid and our storage and all that good stuff. So that actually would stretch pretty far. I need, I'm just going to grab a stack out of here and we'll stretch this a little bit farther out. Probably one more right there. That makes it a little bit more even. Then we can do that. And that's even right there. And the 
then I'll just go ahead and fill in some gaps in a few other places. So also between episodes, I got a bit more end stone made up. Can this go away? I think that was like a way that I was building something underground. So I got some more end stone from some uh, endermites that were popping out of my amethyst. And I just decided that I'm going to go here and I'm just going to do nothing but crushed end stone. Uh, so I've got my pedestal here that's sifting through end stone that's putting it in my storage system and it's going in and it's crushing and it's making crushed end stone because eventually that's going to get me ender pearls and dimension shards. So those are two things that I need eventually moving forward. So I have my controller. So one thing I need to do is start getting power pipes energy pipes is iron redstone and that's it I am low on redstone which probably means I need to sift up some more dust at some point but there's that. So where do we want our controller to live? Probably somewhere close by all of my drawers there. And then where do I want my like actual terminal to be? Could be here. So if I want to fill in this spot. And then maybe expand this out a little bit. Because eventually, we're not going to really need the pedestal right there. Eventually, that can get replaced with something else that's going to feed directly into the storage system. So, yeah, I'm thinking just have, like, my crafting grid maybe sticking up, like, here. And then, like, all of my terminals and stuff. And then I can take this down and we'll we'll just make like this sort of a crafting area and then all of my storage can be downstairs so, so let me come back down here i will eventually probably grab those sparks that i have all right so let's get into at refined storage some of this i've already brought up over here so i need another machine casing which is more quartz enriched iron which I have a bit more of right here so quartz enriched iron so 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 which is just about how much I have uh, I do need the advanced processor so that is gonna take printed silicon which comes from smelted Certus Quartz. So I do need to grab some of my Certus Quartz here. I'm, go I'm gonna keep running over there until I remember that I don't uh, have a staircase anymore. So I'm just gonna smelt up the Certus Quartz. Uh, what else do I need to make this? I need some redstone, I need some binding. So that's gonna be more string and slime balls. So I have some slime balls here. I know I have a ton in my inventory. I had some in here, but I think I used it all. So some more flax. Gets me some more string. String plus slime balls. Gets me some binding agent. That gets me quite a bit. So that silicon is going to process, and it's just going to get stuck over here for now. So let me grab the little bit that I've got and we'll come over here and this goes I think it goes in here so silicon goes in the inscriber with the silicon press so my presses are down here inscriber silicon press 
and you go in, you go in, and you are good to go. I don't even think this actually requires power, does it? Can I not just put a stack of you in at a time? I guess not. Alright, so then just some redstone and a diamond. Some diamond, some redstone. That gets me this. And then this plus <coughs> energized smelter or redstone furnace gets me the chip. Is that what it's called? No, just an advanced processor. So processor turns into advanced processor. And then let me put my zinc dust back in there. And then this is full of silicon, so I need to get it out. And then that just needs a chest of some kind. Chest of any kind, I believe. And then I need one more of you. And then I just need my advanced processor, which is probably stuck right here. Eventually, I'll replace this with like the storage drawer, so everything can just or the um, th this the disk drive. All right, so I should have everything now for a disk drive, and for right now that can live maybe over here, close to my power gen, because then I also need the controller which needs power. So we're just gonna run this out to here. That gets my disk drive power and my controller. So for a 4K storage disk, which is just the one I'm gonna basically start with, I just need storage housing, which is three more quartz enriched iron. And is, does it have to be tinted glass or can it just be any glass, any glass? So any glass, quartz enriched iron, and some redstone. Yeah, which I have. So boom. Um, okay, or I don't need to make the storage housing. I just need to make the processor, which the basic processor is a raw basic processor, which is what I needed this for. Um, So raw basic processor times two times four. So one, two. So I need to make a few more of these. <coughs> Three, four of those. So there is a 1K storage. So maybe I'll start with that. Maybe I'll just start with 1K storage. Disc. So that needs this. So that needs four pieces of silicon, a quartz enriched iron. Okay, I can probably make that really quick. I just need one more piece of redstone, one more piece of quartz enriched iron. I think I have some quartz over here. I knew I had it somewhere. So quartz enriched iron is three to one, gets me four. And then just a little bit more redstone. All right, so a 1K storage drive also just needs this. All right, cool, so 1K storage disc can go in here. 
and then I just need to like connect all of my stuff to this. So uh, I know that I need like an import or an external. Is it an external storage bus? Uh, requires a construction core and a deconstruction core. And that's going to be a basic processor, which once again is a regular processor. So let me go ahead and get a few more of those. We'll smelt those up. four of these once all four show up because then I'm also going to need to make a destruction which I'm pretty sure is the same thing so a destruction is plus quartz this is plus glowstone and then what was I making an external storage bus so I need two chests The same processor but with gold so I need one more silicon eventually this will all get automated because the next step is also going to be laser IO good though that I know that anything that can't go in the system just immediately gets put on that pedestal which then that pedestal could get moved to here so I just need one more of you and three quartz enriched iron And that gets me an external storage bus. Which I'm going to put on the back of this so I can get rid of you for now. Because that's going to go there. And then once that feeds into the controller. So yeah, this controller I can probably move controller can it live here and not get in my way yes it can okay so then I just need to power you I'm just gonna come off of this line over here This one and put you here that should connect that storage disk can end up going right <laughs> storage disk drive can end up going here and then honestly this can get put anywhere that's relatively close by so I could just put you here and then get my external
my external storage and can I just put you right here and then put my 1k disc back in you which then also might just mean I put my terminal like right in the middle please don't lose this dang it <laughs> I have the worst luck with blocks not wanting to pop in places that they should which now that means I need a way out of here and of course I come right to where my chest is um, all right so you shouldn't have anything on you but you are now connected to the system so then if I just put a crafting grid which let me go ahead and make that refined storage crafting grid uh, that takes a lot more of this stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and make all of this off camera and then we will come back all right so one thing I want to show on camera is I am gonna go ahead and make this guy so I can get some more soul sand because I need to start sifting soul sand to get more quartz because I'm pretty sure that's where I figured out it comes from sifting quartz in an andesite mesh pretty sure I found that somewhere yeah okay so sifting quartz in an amethyst mesh I keep saying andesite mesh it's amethyst mesh so I'm going to put this here with a funnel of some kind actually Let me see what I can do here really quick. Because Pedestal has a magnetic upgrade. What does it take to make you? Just iron, copper, redstone dust? I can do that real quick. So gold, copper, iron, redstone dust. Uh, so I need my upgrade tool. in here somewhere it's right here upgrade u plus u equals u u plus all of this equals this so that I can take this guy and I can put you here and put you here and you need a work area. So can I clear you? Area has been cleared. All right, so you are going to work from, let's say here to here. So that is your work area. You're gonna pick anything up. And can you automatically input it we'll see all right so I'm going to need to get a flint and steel which I have somewhere in one of my chests all right so flint and steel and I also need my millstone which I know I had at one point here or I may have already placed it somewhere yeah I placed you here so I can actually break you because I'm gonna put you up here because what I'm gonna do is funnel in gravel into this millstone gravel in that millstone that millstone is then going to turn that gravel into sand that sand is then going to drop down here I've got to make another shoot really quick unless I have one which I don't think I do shoot just takes two iron 
and a regular iron. I can go ahead and light you. I think the only problem is that that's just going to automatically pop off. I need a way for it to, like, stop when it gets to the fan. So that gets me four shoots. So let me, let me give this a test. So if I come over here and I grab some sand out of one of you guys... And I throw this in the millstone. Oh wait, I need I need gravel to throw in the millstone. But I do need to just practice what how how this is gonna go. So let's say this is coming down from here, and yeah, it's gonna pop off at the end. doing that. I know why it's doing that. I need to clean some more inventory. Are all of you still linked? I don't think you are anymore. Need to select all of this. And I can put you away really quick. And I can just do that. Alright, so you're not going to. You are going to get sucked up, but you're not. Okay, I can filter you to only pick up soul sand. The only problem is then you have nowhere to go, and you're not going to stop here. How do I get you to stop in front of the fan? I think a depot would work. If it falls onto a depot, will it still haunt? Oh, well, you're also not even turning, so I don't even know how that's going to work yet. So I do need, like, I think probably two vertical, two gearboxes should work. So that works. So that does work the way that I thought it would. The only problem is, is that now this won't pick up that. But I think if I do something like this, I need to get rid of so much junk. Let's take this. And I can probably take an export tool. I'm going to keep my soul sand item filter. I can break you. I'm gonna put another pedestal down. Right here. Item filter you that you can only pick up soul sand and then export upgrade. Or does it need to be an import upgrade? So that'll get me that. And then if I just put my other pedestal back up here and link you two together. So sender, receiver, and then export upgrade you. You'll get sucked back in and you'll get linked and you'll go there. Perfect. All right. So, so other than the fact that that keeps giving me blindness every time I walk in front of it, that's funny. Uh, so I can take a bunch of gravel. 
out of this system. Or just a bunch of sand. But we'll, we'll stick with gravel for now. And I can just drop you here. You're going to millstone into sand. And when you millstone into sand, you're going to drop onto that chute. You're going to get dropped onto that depot. You're going to get haunted. And then as soon as you get haunted, you're going to get sucked out and put in the system. Success. So then the cool thing I could then do is pull from the system here, drop my sandstone in a sifter, and then just immediately export the sifter into quartz, and then we just start the whole process over. So like, if I took, I, so that that's gonna require more like filtering and stuff, but I do have now sandstone that is going to process itself and get put in my system. Awesome. So I could also just round robin you into a sifter that's then going to round robin out to a uh, sifter. So I could round robin you to a sifter that's then going to output quartz and then just take that quartz and filter it back into the system. Sound, sound good? I'll do that really quick off camera and then we'll see how it goes. All right, so we are gonna end this by me making a crafting grid. Uh, I just need to, once again, still just collect all the resources to make that crafting grid. So I will be back once that is done. All right, so I've made up everything. That is my crafting grid. Good to go. Or just a grid. I keep calling it a crafting grid. I think the crafting grid is something slightly different. So I need the grid itself. I need one more advanced. So I need a diamond. Uh, so crafting grid, pattern grid, fluid grid. All right, so let, let, let me see what just the grid is. So we'll come up here. I'm gonna put this here and then I can't make that flat so it's just gonna be a grid here all right so that is all of my storage from the thing perfect and then can I just start putting all of this in there I can awesome all right so redstone mode display normal sorting direction descending ascending Auto-selected, synchronized, size, let's do stretch, uh, sort by name, sort by ID, that's fine with me. So this is now synced, so if I do something like that, awesome, so cool. That And then a crafting grid is going to get me a crafting table on top of this. So if I just do, so take that out. Um, I think some of the stuff I needed I put in there. Of course I did. Because now that I have unlimited, well not unlimited storage, now that I have some storage, I'm gonna be messing up some stuff. Okay, so I need this. I know I need some of this. I need, let's do a stack of that. Um, still grab some quartz, grab some silicone, grab some of my processing binders. That. Probably that. Okay. So, let me take out my grid, because I'm going to also need a crafting table. table and crafting grid so that just needs the processor which needs this processor so that just needs one diamond which I thought I grabbed all right so I can also change the color which I might do eventually all right so I need to just smelt this up Once 
once again, too fast. Too fast five me, okay. All right, let's grab this. This turns into this, turns into this. So crafting grid should be almost the same, just with a crafting table included. Yep, cool. So that's a good enough wrapping up point. Uh, between episodes, I will start working on getting all of my storage in here. Uh, so this this is fantastic. So let me let me make sure that these are all going to the right spot. So like if I. Alright, so I've, I have no diamonds in here. I have no diamonds in here. I think I might need to set a priority. So then if I dump all of my diamonds in there, you're still not in there. Okay, so I do need to set some sort of priority on this guy. Uh, priority, we'll just say plus 10 for now. So then if I come in here and I get all of my diamonds out again, and put them back. The first place they were gonna go was in here. So, all right, so I need to just take like everything out of here and then reinsert it. Well, not everything, but like some of this stuff, stuff that I know that's in my chests. So I could probably disconnect this, take everything out, reconnect it, set the priority back, put everything in. So that's what I'm gonna do between episodes. So until then, I will see you all Later.